This is Xiaomi 13 Pro and today I would like to demonstrate that you can set up parental controls on this device. So to start, uh, you will need to open settings. From here, go for the account and sync category. Check whether you have any Google accounts added. If you do, remove them. After there are no Google accounts linked to your system, re-enter the Google category of settings this time. Then tap at the parental controls, get started, child or teen, next. After that, sign into the Google account that will be used at the child's end. So, if you, well, obviously do not have the Google account, you can sign up for one. Or rather, your child does not have. So, type in your email or well, child's email address, uh, password, then proceed with the login. Then select the account you have just logged into from the list. And next, enter credentials to another Google account. This time, to the Google account that you will be using to supervise your child's activity. Next, at the About Supervision page, at the very bottom part of it, you will need to enter the password to the child's Gmail account once again. Then tap at the agree button then at this little pop-up or rather dialog window go for the allow option and wait for the parent and child's accounts to get linked after that click next this step we can skip the following one we can skip as well since all those controls we can set up later on and currently I would assume that we are more focused on finishing these parental controls set up as soon as possible from here you can either if the device that is highlighted over here is the phone or tablet that you will be using to supervise your child you can tap at the blue button and get the required app automatically downloaded and installed or you can just skip this step and well download and install the family link application manually so from here take whatever phone you will be using to supervise your child and as i've already mentioned the app that we are looking to download is called family link so let's get it real quick Once the application is ready, you can go ahead and launch it. The only important step uh, to keep in mind is to sign into the app with the correct Google account, uh, which is the Google account that you have earlier signed into at the child's phone uh, at the stage of parent account. So make sure to log in with the correct account. And inside the app itself, you can do such things as setting uh, the daily usage limits, downtime routine, manage your child's app usage, you can enable or disable apps, set some restrictions for said apps and monitor your child app activity. You can also apply content and age filters, configure your child's account settings and manage devices if you are supervising multiple, well, phones. You can also monitor your child's location and see the child's device usage highlights. Alrighty, so that will be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.